Are any of us really surprised? From the second that these two brothers, KSI and Deji, started airing all of their dirty laundry out on the internet, we all knew it was gonna turn into a hot mess. But the good news is there's a lot we could take away from this entire experience. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I'd like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community, try to take this mess and turn it into a message. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. All right, and in case you missed it, I just made a video right before this about Logan Paul filing a false copyright claim against KSI when this video first went up. Go check that out because this is a topic that needs to be discussed here on YouTube because the copyright system is an absolute joke. So go watch that video, it's linked up in the info card. All right, but yeah, this is a video um, I want to do discussing the whole KSI response to Deji. And I'm probably gonna make one more video on this. I just didn't wanna pack everything into one video. So stay tuned, one more video is coming up. So yeah, KSI just released his response to Deji and he kind of took it point by point and argued his case. And listen, I'm gonna make this very clear. I think KSI and Deji are both kind of dicks. And I said this in my original video. Like this is all just a massive massive it's a game it is sibling rivalry it is a family dispute and this is stuff that should not be on the internet and the thing is and i'll just keep bringing this up so many people want to grow up and be like you know uh youtube famous or twitch famous or influencers or whatever like i look at this i look at this stuff and i'm just like like i have a son and he has a little brother and i'm just like i could not imagine I could not imagine this, right? But anyways, the parents have been kind of involved too, and I'm gonna talk about that more in my next video. But anyways, KSI did kind of expose Deji as a hypocrite. Throughout KSI's video, he shows that like a lot of this was like planned out, this was fun and games, and then Deji kind of changed his mind about it. And they were doing a lot of the same things to each other. You even had videos on your channel attacking me like Slavery Fee for the rematch. Okay. I mean, it's not like it was a one-way street. You got to whip me too. And this is common. This is very, very common to look back on things and say, oh wait, no, I'm not cool with it. But in KSI's defense, kind of, like Deji was doing the same thing. Like as far as, you know, the, the, the violence, you know, and things like that, like this is something that they were both doing to each other. It was completely consensual. And like, I would imagine, I would like to see their target age group for their audiences. Well, I'm guessing it's a lot of kids, right? Like not many adults want to see like grown men play these like little challenge games. I don't know. I could probably think of some grown men who would be into that stuff. But before I kind of move forward um, with the points that KSI made, I will say this. One of the biggest things, one of the biggest things that came out of Deji's video was KSI sleeping with a woman that Deji had feelings for, all right? And that whole situation is a mess, but I think KSI is kind of full of crap when he's talking about it, so. Now, Deji apparently recorded videos with this uh, woman and you know he liked her and everything, and KSI showed receipts on this, and yeah, it just seems like one of those situations where Deji liked a woman, she did not like him back, she slept with his brother, all right? And when I originally made the video, it's like, I said this about Logan Paul hooking up with like Alyssa Violet, like there are so many women, so many women, or so many men, whatever your thing is, out there in the world, like you do not have to hook up with your, your, your siblings or your friends or whoever's like crush or whatever it is, right? But KSI, his story was this. His story was he met her at a concert and then they exchanged numbers, they were they talked for a little bit, and then they ended up sleeping together at a hotel. And KSI's story is he had no idea that she knew Deji. 
but the way you make it out like I had malicious intent towards you, that, that's just not true. So let me explain. I met her at a Jamie concert. Uh, she was outside. I said hi. We exchanged numbers. Uh, we talked for a bit. We met up at a hotel. We slept together and that was it. I didn't even know she knew you. I don't even remember your name even being mentioned. <laughs> that That is a bit of a reach. That is quite a reach, all right? Like, what are the odds, all right? Like, I'm a man of, like, statistics and, like, just looking at things from a logical, realistic perspective. Like, what are the chances that KSI just happened to meet a woman who just happened to not only know his brother, but filmed with his brother? Like, I... I might believe, I maybe believe that KSI never saw the videos she did with Deji. I might believe that, all right? But during the whole time where he met this woman and was talking to this woman and slept with this woman, it never came up once that she knew his brother, all right? So then we would have to believe that this young woman who did a video with Deji had no idea who Deji's brother was, and that they were both YouTubers. Like, that is a bit of a stretch. Like, KSI, like, just own up for to it, dude. You hooked up with a girl who wasn't really into your brother. That's it. Not a, not a huge deal, even though it's a dick move, but you've done a lot of other dick moves in the past, okay? But what I want to focus on in this is something that we saw with the Tati Westbrook and James Charles situation, which is when our emotions are taking control, when we feel like we're wronged, our issue is that our perception is not reality. And here's what I mean by this. Tati Westbrook, when she first cried on Instagram and was upset with James Charles, and then she made her whole bi sister video talking about James Charles, and James Charles has never been there to promote her products, she was very emotional and that was her perception. But when James Charles came back, and he made his video about Tati Westbrook, he proved that her perception was not reality, all right? She felt as though James Charles had never promoted Halo Beauty, but the reality was he did. So when we are emotional, our brain has a problem separating the truth from the false. So we saw Deji do the exact same thing. Deji's emotions around this entire situation where he was talking about how KSI has never defended him or had his back or anything like that, or, you know, just the, the videos with KSI hitting him or whatever. Like, that was Deji's perception. So, like, right now, um, I was just checking Twitter and a lot of people are saying, like, Deji manipulated and everything. Like, I, and maybe this is just me giving people the benefit of the doubt again when I shouldn't, but I do not believe that in many of these cases, people are purposely trying to be manipulative or trying to lie. Because so many of us deal with this. I deal with this, you deal with this. When we get emotional, our brains tell us lies, right? Like, I was having this conversation with my son the other day. I forgot, you know what? My son was actually asking me what happened with Tati Westbrook and James Charles, and I was teaching him about this. I was like, Dylan, like, every time you ask me for like V-Bucks in Fortnite, do I say yes? And he's like, no, you say no, I'm like, but do I ever give you V-Bucks in Fortnite? And he's like, yes. I'm like, so if you're mad at me and you're emotional and you said, daddy, you never give me V-Bucks, it's because you're emotional and you're not realizing how many times I have, right? This is something I have to teach my freaking kid because we do this as adults all the time. Like think about, have you ever been in an argument with your significant other or something? You never, do anything nice for me. You never do the dishes. You never make dinner, right? We use these absolute words like never, even though the person has done it in the past, all right? And that is just being fully run by our emotions. So this is what we keep seeing with all of these YouTube beefs. But again, I'm trying to take this mess and turn it into a message because all of us out here are just sitting back passively watching this, but this is happening in your life all the time. How many arguments have you gotten into with your friends saying they never do anything for you? They never do this or never do that, right? Just because you're very emotional during a time when they did not do something for you, all right? But the last thing I was gonna talk about 
And that's very suspect. Like, the second Deji came out and made a video talking about how KSI was trying to get people to, you know, um, expose Deji. And it's like, as soon as I saw that, I think I even said something on Twitter like, ah, this is a little bit suspect. Like, the only reason you would do that is if you felt like some things were going to come out. And possibly what happened with Deji was, after he released that video, he realized he's like, oh, damn. Like, my brother probably has some video evidence of some stuff or some texts or DMs or whatever it is. And there was some stuff that KSI didn't touch on, you know, and probably a good thing that he didn't. Like, this all needs to, all of this needs to be handled behind closed doors. And that's what my next video is going to be about. It's going to be about families, um, toxic relationships, and how to either A, repair those, or B, move on and repair your own mental health because I'm somebody who has come from a family that like when I watch family drama going on, I can definitely relate to that. And I'm going to do my next video on how to maintain or manage your own mental health when your family is acting absolutely bananas. All right, but anyways, who won this? Neither of them. They're both dicks to each other. They've made a whole platform off of being it. Like, when I saw Deji first call out KSI, I'm like, I don't know why you're doing this, man. You're not like this awesome person. You know what I mean? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you'd like to become a patron, support what I'm doing here, get access to some other perks and benefits, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. Before you leave, don't forget to go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.